this. There we go. All right, so let's just take a look, see what I got. I already got the box prep, so again, this fit cracked. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more of these, including my channel is really going to be just general crafting all the time. Hauls, you know, what's on sale, what I found, what I'm making, how to make it, all that for now until I figure out what I really want to finish doing with my channel. All right, let's get all the padding out. Let's see here. Oh, I already see the cute stuff. Okay, I kind of remember what I got. This was cool. Every time we order something from Brutus Monroe out, he has this cute little envelope. Christopher Allen is who owns the company. Um, friend for a long time now. So I'm super proud. Um, and it's so cool to know somebody that has been able to grow their company this much. Um, and if you haven't checked it out before, it's BrutusMonroe.com. So you see Brutus Monroe. Um, but it's always a really cool, cute little uh, thank you. And it gives you your list of what you ordered. So it's your, it's basically your, um, your invoice so that you know exactly what they were able to fill, if there was any issues, anything like that. Um, and then, so you'll have like your whole thing and I'm probably like sharing my address, which is probably no, no. It'll be edited just in case. And then it tells you like who picked it, um, order picked, order packed by. So it's kind of cute when you get that, right? So and then it just lets you know their policies. And as you can see from the list, I ordered a lot. And sometimes in there too, always check the envelope because sometimes um, there's announcements in there, things like that. Um, so you always want to check that out. So here's what I got. This is the funny thing, guys. Okay, I ordered this like the day before yesterday i kid you not it might have even been yesterday day before yesterday it might have been day before yesterday but i think it was yesterday i'm not gonna lie no day before yesterday i did order this day before yesterday and it's all right here like the next morning i had gotten things saying that it was already out for shipping it's awesome and this is coming from pennsylvania and i'm all the way out in nevada so this is how quick this gets here so we'll go through what i got I of course got the new um, or semi new Simon Hurley, I should say restocked Simon Hurley stamping foam so I can give those a try. I, um, I basically know exactly what they're doing and how, how they're doing it and what it's all about. And this is this was an awesome idea. Um, you know, it's basically, if I'm right, it's the same kind of foam that you use for crafting foam, but really thick, which is the the trick to this is because it is such a thick foam. Basically, you heat it up, impress anything you want in it, and you can use it to stamp with. So you can get your own like backgrounds, different kinds of. Um, think of it sort of like a gel press, but even cooler because it's you can do so much. It's it's cool. So I was really surprised when I found out you actually get four pieces in the package. And this one, I'll give I'll give you guys prices because I know I like to know prices. So the stamping foam is uh, oh wait maybe I don't have prices okay so that's what's not listed on here I want to say it's only like $5.99 if that so sorry can't give you prices unless he has some of them on there but yeah I think I want to say it's only like $5.99 it's really cheap and you get four big blocks and these are pretty good size three by four and a quarter so we'll try those out later I'll do like a video trying them out and the Stamping Bella, I love the Oddball collection. It's really cute. I love these stamps. Um, my, you know, my whole thing is Misfit Crafters only because Misfit Crafters mostly because I've always been like a little out of place, I guess you can say, or something like that. But it's mostly because I found my niche with, with crafting. I tried so much my whole life um, of what I wanted to do. Um, went to fashion design school, interior design school, and I did okay in all those fields. Um, but when I started doing crafting, I just, I mean, I've always been a crafter. I always found my niche that way. So I'm always looking for the really cute little oddball type stamp collections and companies and things like that. So this is why I got this one. And he's too cute because it reminds me of my kids. Um, this one says, you're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. I love this one. This one's called Oddball Standing Boy. Look at how cute that is. 
love it and these are um cling stamps but they're the rubber cling stamps so even better i love this okay then i got the stampers anonymous tim holtz this is the tiny text halloween i'm always like struggling for um for like headers or um, sentiments on cards so I love these because it's a whole lot of sentiments on one thing um, and I mean it's just a ton of them and it's rubber and I always love that Tim Holtz comes with its own stamp storage I mean this is like you just stick it in a you know a binder and it holds your stamps already and they're all the rubber these ones are $29.99 I want to say I might have gotten these on sale though I'm not sure but how cool is that? I mean, look, she was spellbound. The hollowed spot, like I said, this is the Halloween one. Treacherously supplied by the imagination. A strange story. Held in suspense. A wicked thing. So some of these you could actually use for other stuff. He was spellbound. A strange thing happened. You could tell a whole story with this thing. So cool. All right. Next one I got. This is, I'm not going to lie. This is one that I got to finally get to the um, free shipping mark. Um, but I was kind of happy to find it. And I thought it was really cool. It's by Spellbinders. It's called Windy Sky. This one's a photopolymer stamp. But it's really cool because it's like a windy, swirly background. So you can use it all kinds of different ways. I, you could also use it maybe for waves and things like that. And I just realized not only is there swirlies, but there's little dots in between. I don't know if you can see the dots. Yeah, see those? There's like little dots in between. But I love this. This is cool. These are regular $9.99, but I want to say this might have been on sale. Might not have been. No, this was not on sale. But you can kind of see how they used it, like for an oceany wave instead. But I really love it because I wanted to use it for wind. I think this is cute and a starry, like sky kind of thing. Another Stamping Bella Oddball Collection, the Oddball Sparkle Fairy. It says, Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And I love the sparkles. I'm like dying over those sparkles, you guys. There's little stars with little skull sparkles. Come on now. I love the stripe in her dress and the little ruffles and her tights and her little shoes. Her tights, I don't know if you can see them, they're striped. These are so cool. Again, rubber clean stamp. It's big, guys. Look at that size of that sucker. That's cool. All right, like I said, I'm a sucker for Halloween. This one kind of was like a filler. I think this was on clearance, but I want to see what they look like. Um, this one's cute because he also has like kids crafts and all kinds of stuff and I'm hoping I can get to visit so I can get to his store um, because they're all his store keeps growing you guys so if you're in Pennsylvania or near there um, definitely check out the Brutus Monroe store it looks wonderful I haven't been able to visit yet I really want to but these are cute little um, match boxes I love match boxes and you can make four match boxes and it comes with all the little pieces to make them um, these are a dollar, you guys. They were on clearance for a buck. I mean, even just for the matchbox pieces, these are foam, but they're kind of cute. Look at that. For them being foam, that's a lot of detail. I like that. And they already have the sticky on them. I don't have to do that. And I'm thinking if I scan them, I can then put the scan in my Cricut, and that way I have the matchbox, you know, cut out. Oh, they were giving away, this was a free gift. This is Swatch Dots. Yeah, so these are swatch dots because he has um, where you can print out, um, and there you go, if you want to get it, BrutusMonroe.com. There is the um, little QR code to get there uh, to give you stuff, but these little swatch dots are so that you can use these to swatch out whatever you want. Um, I'm trying to, they feel like, I don't know, they're like, almost like if it's a double-sided sticker. They're thick. Huh. But he's giving away some free dots that you can swatch out your embossing powders and stuff really nicely. Um, but you can also go on uh, the Brutus Monroe site and print out your um, your swatching sheets so that you can keep track of what you have from Brutus Monroe. He has his own brand of things, like I said, like the squeaky clean. I think that's what it was. The squeaky clean that I wanted was sold out on this order. I remember that. But I'll tell you more about that later. I probably have talked about it a million times. All right, so one of the things I really wanted to get my hands on, and unfortunately a lot of stuff was sold out, so I got everything I could that I wanted, was the new Doodle, um, doodle Bug um, <clears throat> Cute and Crafty Collection. So that's what all this is. This is the Cute and Crafty Collection. 
And we'll start with these little guys. These are just really cute die cuts, um, cardstock stickers that they have of each little thing. Let's see if I can get that. There you go. So this one's really cute. It's a little sewing machine. I'm gonna go put this on my sewing machine, so it's really cute. I actually have a Sew Happy from We Are Memory Keepers um, that's pink. This would be cute next to. But in my room, I have stations, so I want to. I actually bought the Doodle Bug um, cut files so that I can make giant versions of these um, with my Cricut so that I can mark all my stations with this plus so that I can also mark my drawers with what's inside my drawers so I want everything to be really cute see in here because um, I want to enjoy it it's, it's my craft room it's my happy place um, so like two dollars so this is like the so happy how cute is that and it's all like can you see that it's all dimensional super dimensional cute all right, here's another one. This is a glitter <laughs> bottle. It says, I love glitter. This is going to go on my glitter drawer for sure. Look at that. <laughs> How cute is that? So it's a glitter bottle. I only grabbed two of those because I just want to see how big they were and how they look. Um, this is the chit chat thing. So this is really cute. This has uh, 85 pieces of just little chit chats, all crafty. You know, as a crafter and a scrapbooker, this is crazy. What's the name of that guy I wanted to make? Oh, <laughs> someone's actually messaging me um, about Brutus Monroe right now. So this is not live, so she's not seeing this. She usually sees this, but I'll message her back in a minute. Um, I almost forgot we're not live. So this one's super cute. You kind of see all the different pieces that are in there. Let me see if I get that to focus better. You see this one's $8.99, but you get a lot. I wish I could get it to focus better. Eh, it's not going to let me focus it better, but hopefully you can see some of that. This is the chit chat, so you get all these really cute pieces. I love the chit chat pieces. Oh no, one of my stickers came off. Oh, where'd it go? Ah, oh, it's right there. Wait, how did that happen? Okay, wait. So that sticker somehow ended up in between here. I think I can get it off. Yeah, I got it off. Okay. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> That was funny. I was like, wait, where'd my sticker go? I don't know how I got in between there. I'm just a slid funny. All right, so the doodle bug, six by six paper pad. Eh, focus, focus. Okay, there you go. Um, cute and crafty 24 double sided cardstock. So cute. It doesn't show you. You could kind of see a little, a little thing in there. Let me see. Get that pulled off. Ah, there we go. Okay. We'll do a quick flip through. So, oh, that one's going to keep coming off now. There we go. All right. This is so cute. Look, 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 look. It has all the little, all the little, like, tools and stuff, and everything has a face on it. Down to, like, Copics, you guys. Like, this collection actually has, like, Copics. Line paper. I'm trying to get it to focus a little better, so I apologize. It's not quite focused the way I like it to. Look at that. Okay, that one's upside down. How cute is that? It's everything we use. You know, just about everything on here that they're showing. I own. This one says craftiness is happiness. Time to make stuff, making memories, eat, sleep, craft, repeat, live, love, create, born to craft, craftiness, happiness starts all over again. Cute. And it's all double sided. Oh, I love this because the six by six gives you these smaller journal spots. It says, I really love making um, mini books. This is like perfect. Buttons. Now I have, I'm holding the book upside down, but it's because I'm noticing all of these end up upside down. Cuteness. How cute are those? I love this because these are perfect for making mini books. You know, I'm making a mini book. Those are sewing machines. It's upside down, but they are sewing machines. I almost thought those were band-aids for like two seconds. And then let's see, I have flowers. There's more, look at how cute these are, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then it just repeats. Yeah, it just repeats after that. So that's so cool. All right. Whoa, what just happened there? Okay, there you go. And then I got weird technical stuff happening. Okay, that's not good. Like my camera 
not my camera, my computer decided to go to sleep because I wasn't touching it. Shouldn't do that while I'm recording. All right, then we got the icon stickers. These are just sticker, but they're kind of thick. They're almost like cardstock stickers still, but these are cute. These are the ones I'm gonna use to put on my drawers. I wanted them nice and vibrant. I didn't wanna like cut these ones out. So these are actually gonna go on my drawers. I really love these Copics. These are so cute, look at that. Glitter, um, that's glitter, that's sequence. There's a phone. Um, ink pads, the doodle bug ink pad of course, photos. So these are so cute you guys. The little odds and ends. This is cute for the embellishments because I actually have like, I'm making an, what's called an embellishment bar in my room. Um, you guys will see that soon. It's almost done. I need to move some stuff around off of it but it's not bad. The hot glue gun, that'll go in my glue gun drawer along with all that stuff. Super cute. And then last is the bigger cardstock um, stickers. This and that is what they call it. Now you, you know that it's nice and thick because that sucker came off a little bit. It's weird because it almost feels like... No, it's not. I was just feeling something. But these are so cute. Look at this. Perfect for scrapbooking. There's paint nobody like you. Oh my god, it's so cute. These are really good for like swaps and wraps and all of that. So that is everything. So be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see some more. Um, I always cross post these videos. I can't believe that was only a dollar. Uh, I always cross post the videos so you can always see them on my Facebook group as well. Facebook, Instagram, MisfitCrafter.com. Um, all those, everything is at Misfit Crafter. Uh, so whether you're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, it's at Misfit Crafter. There is also MisfitCrafter.com, which is my blog. And then there's MisfitCrafterStudios.com. MisfitCrafterStudio.com, sorry. That is my teaching site. So if you want to learn to make anything specific, Cricut classes, things like that, that's where you'll go. Um, uh, also, if you want to book me for a party or anything like that, you want to book an event, that's where you book my company there. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I will answer questions as soon as I see them, usually Fridays and Saturdays, because um, I do have a regular day job, and those are my big days off. So Fridays and Saturdays are my biggest response days, my shipping days, all of that. Thanks for watching. See you later. Like, subscribe. Bye. Oh, and share.